Welcome back to another fantastic Adobe live stream. I am your host, Alex Lazarus, and I am so excited to be with y'all. I see a bunch of our regulars in here. What's up, Gareth? What's up, Shauna? What's up, uh, Barbara? How are you guys doing? Annika, what's up, what's up, what's up? Uh, Annika's welcoming into the stream by saying, the king of comic papyrus is here. And that is true. It is not my birthday, but it feels like it whenever I get greeted with a comic papyrus. So thank you. Appreciate it. What up, Wade? How you doing? Uh, happy Thursday, everyone. For those of you all that don't know, we are doing uh, Design Fix today. So Claudia and I bounce between weeks. Essentially, Design Fix is a show for you to kind of submit your own businesses, submit your own brands, submit your own side projects, whatever you want. Fill out this form. I'm going to post a link in chat right meow. Um, what you can do with this link is fill out all your contact information, fill out project, give us a little bit of information about what you're doing, what you want help with. Uh, you can choose between social graphics, uh, logos, anything like that. Uh, today we're going to be working on Bob Tuttle Associates and Bob essentially said we can do whatever. He's looking for ideas on anything. So we're going to go in there and try to help out where we can. We're going to take a look at his website, take a look at his brand kind of currently. And we're going to be making stuff within Adobe Express. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, Wade says, every day on Adobe Live feels like a birthday. It's true. It's true. And then one day it was my birthday on Adobe Live, which was pretty cool too. We made Express birthday cards. So if you haven't seen that, go to the YouTubes, wherever your YouTube browser is, and, and go check that out. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, Wade says, design fixed. That's true. We should do a recap at the end of the, like, the year of all the things we've done in design fix. So that would be pretty fun. So anyways... Without further ado, tell me what your favorite food is in chat today. I know we get a lot of, uh, you know, where are you in the world? Those are always great. You can tell me where you are in the world too. I also want to know what you're eating, what you love, what your favorite food is. Let me know. Mine is pizza. We had pizza last night. It was fantastic. Uh, all right. Enough about me mumbling, jumbling. Anyways, fill out the form. I posted it in chat. Wade posted it as well. Make sure you submit. Um, and when you might be a lucky winner and getting a free hour of design time from Claudia or myself. Uh, so it's super exciting. We've been doing this for about two months, three months now, four months now. I don't know, time flies when you're having fun. But without further ado, we're gonna jump into it. So for those of you that want to learn more about Bob Tuttle Associates, let me go here, face to the left, perfect. All right, this is Bob's website right now. This is what he submitted. Uh, so from a high level, um, let me just refresh this. It, whoa, no. Oh, no. Runtime error. Lauren says, how do y'all from Austin? Hello, hello. I grew up in Texas. So I'm very familiar with Austin. Oh, no. I think I killed Bob's website on accident. We're going we're gonna to see what's going on here. Boodoo. All right, well, Bob's website seems to be struggling right now, which means we can just imagine, imagine the website. I wonder if I could go backwards. No, that's not gonna help. Okay, runtime error, that's fine. Maybe by the end of the website, or maybe by the end of the stream, we'll do it. Wade asks, design fix the website? We could do that, we could do that. Ken says, 404 Bob not found. What up, Ken, how you doing? Uh, Ken's a buddy of mine. Good to see you in here. Mariah, having a fruit cocktail right now. What kind of fruit and what kind of cocktail? Or just like the cups, little... All right, I'm assuming that you mean by just a lot of fruit in a cup, a fruit cup, uh, which sounds refreshing and delightful. But anyways, without further ado, one website that is not down right now is the Adobe Express, Express website. So if you don't know what Adobe Express is, it's essentially a stripped down version of all your favorite tools, all one spot, makes it super duper easy for you to work with. Um, it has kind of some photo editing features. You can remove backgrounds. It's a little bit of Photoshop in that. You can create logos and badges really quickly. Uh, so it's got a little bit of like the Illustrator side in it. You've also got the option to start kind of making some quick gifts. You can do social posts, you can resize things, you can import your own brands. So you can do so much stuff within Express. So we're gonna actually just be messing around with Express pretty much the whole stream. We have a lot of fun with it. Um, before Bob's website did go down though, 
I uh, just pulled a little bit of information about what Bob Tuttle Associates is. Um, lurked on his LinkedIn a little bit. Looks like he's been doing this for about 50 years. Um, is an avid photographer and videographer and makes a lot of uh, Vimeo and video content. So we really wanna play into that video training, as you see here, technical consulting, video training and documentation. Uh, Bob Todd Associates has been in business since 1972, helping individuals to lock large, corp large corporations with technical issues that they have. Uh, these have ranged from computers, servers, networks, security systems, educational centers, wall displays, documentation and training, both as a college professor and Adobe educator, I'm busy learning something new every day. My service area is the San Francisco North Bay area, and I have clients out of state. So that's super helpful just to get a little understanding. Oh, Shauna and Leon, what's up, what's up? Besties, all my friends are here today. I love this. This is great. I love hanging out with you guys in video form through a chat screen. Um, it's great. Uh, but if you want to hang out in person, I will be at Creative South at the end of the month, and I will be giving a talk and a workshop. So make sure you go to creativesouth.com and sign up if you do want to hang out in person. Uh, it's different from this. This is free. You can pay to hang out with me too, apparently. Um, it sounds so bad to say that. Just forget that. Um, great. All right, cool. Let's just, all right, moseying on out. All right, we're going to just start going to Express. So let's just let's see if his, I'm just going to keep refreshing his site. Yes, it's back. Okay. We're back. All right, so it looks like the website right now is kind of a placeholder site. There's a lot of these um, kind of, what's the proper word for it? There's a lack of a frame for, oh, Shauna says the end of the month. You mean next week? Yeah, that's what I meant. Next week. That's crazy. It's next week. Cool, cool. All right, cool. I should probably pack or something. All right, well, I'll see you in a week. That's great. All right, back to this video website. It looks like he's trying to showcase um, some of the video work that he's done, but we're missing those screen grabs. So maybe we'll take some screenshots today and then pull them into 16 by nine frames inside of Express and then show how like we can crop that down into some one by ones for some social posts as well, just to kind of give ideas. Since uh, based off Bob's uh, form fill, it says looking for, for any ideas. So we'll just jump with that. Um, so this is an example of like a header image. I'm not going to play the audio just so it makes it easier for everybody, but we got Bob Tuttle. It looks like an all state, um, like insurance, uh, maybe a local insurance branch getting their videos done, which is great. Um, we'll look over here as well. So this is Bob. Hello, Bob. Good to see you. I like that we're doing this video thing together. It's amazing. Um, Bob does a lot of like educational content and documentation and like making videos to make it easier for people. So I think we're going to play a lot off this where maybe when we want to do like a tutorial logo, maybe some video logos, maybe we'll do some documentation logos. And I'll show you how to do this all really quickly in Express in just a couple of moments. So make sure you hang out. So. Uh, little things that we can give some feedback around, we'll, we'll kind of incorporate. So since we're here right now in this current kind of uh, like lockup, my recommendation would be to use a tool like Loom, something where your face can be on top of the information so that most of it is your presentation. So kind of like right now, I'm in the corner of my screen, the, the actual content that you're wanting to show, this auto feed scanner itself could be front and center. Um, so we can just do some like quick little mock-ups inside of Express even. Doo, doo, doo. So I'm just gonna take a screenshot. Obviously, this is not gonna be perfectly, let me actually see if I can find, there we go. This is a better example. Let's see, oh, nope. Give me that screenshot. Cool. I'm gonna take a screenshot here. Perfect. Oh no. I want the tools, the the player's info to be gone. Come on. No. Bob. All right. I should never refresh. Oh, I think it's gonna come back. Nope. Okay. Let's start getting into Express. We'll come back to that page in just a moment. All right, so 
For those of you that don't know, Express has a left aligned toolbar. Um, it's great. It gives you everything. There's a quick starting point for you to kind of work off of. Uh, for the sake of this, we want a custom size just to start for this image. We're gonna do like a 16 by nine. So we'll just do like uh, 1920 by 1080. Boom. Just to show kind of like what this content might be like. We'll do it as a mock-up instead of like bringing it to Photoshop or anything like that just to start. Um, you know what? I've got options. If this doesn't work, let's just go to Adobe stock, stock Adobe. Diagram, uh, technical diagram. Just grab that. Obviously, I'm not trying to, I don't need to license this for the intents of showing this. So I'm just gonna take like a quick screenshot. I can also just like copy paste, copy image and move it in here. Or if I wanted to, I could also go straight into photos and then be like tech, Nicole diagram. Boom. Oh, look at that. That's all I needed. So we'll just grab this from the Adobe Stock Library. It's gonna buffer in. Cool. So we got technical diagram, you know, kind of similar to that video that we saw. Um, we'll just go down to my toolbar. I downloaded an image of you earlier. Cool. So if we wanted to, I think your presentations could benefit from having most of the content filling up the majority of the screen and then you be in the corner. Um, we can try what the remove background does. I'm not sure with the, the lack of focus on kind of the shoulder and the background, how the remove background tool will work, but let's try it out. Uh, this is really just a proof of concept. Lauren Brown says, is Adobe Express a web browser or a desktop new to the tool? Well, it's a web browser uh, app, so you can just go to search your express.adobe.com, uh, but you can also use it on your mobile phone as well. So you can do all that stuff on the tablet, whatever, if you need to. So yeah, you can use it very, very easily. It's also free, oops, I forgot, I didn't save it. Adobe Express is free, but the tools do get better if you are already paying for Creative Cloud. Um, the reason why, and I'll show you again, is whenever I had this image here, I'll just pop in another image. You see these crowns in the left bar? Those crowns mean that it's part of your Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. So if you don't have it, you won't be able to access the crown content but there's still so many assets, so many photos, so many templates, so many tools that you can use. Or sorry, there's nothing, there's no tools that are locked behind your paywall. It's just stock assets and stock templates and stuff like that. So you have tons and tons of things. Like this image right here is completely free to use and you can use it whenever, however you want. So super good stuff. All right, so Bob, if I was to be doing video content right now, I would be saying maybe use like a loom or you can even use OBS, but this is way too much setup, I think, for maybe most of your the recordings that you're doing. But I think a Loom video would be great. You can do like, typically like Loom videos have like a, a circular crop to it. So we'll just do like a circle. Circle. Grab my shape, boom. And then I'll do a little mock-up here. And I'm gonna move. On the bottom right is your layers uh, in Express. So you just pull this down, boom, cool. And then I can even go into the crop section. So we've already masked you out, which is great, but I want a circle crop now just so I can kind of match it to the circle. Okay, great, it's fine. Click the check mark to accept it. And then I'm just gonna shrink down this background circle just to give you kind of a like if you were kind of talking through it, cool. So that's how I do it is like, like a little loom video like this, something. And then you can just control where, I'm gonna group these two together actually. Uh, why? My keys aren't working. That's fine. 
Websites aren't working, keys aren't working. That's fine, whatever. All right, so we got it. We'll put you in the corner and that way you can talk through all your diagrams and any of the technical stuff, all the documentation, but you still have your, your face in the corner so people still feel connected to you. So I, that's what I would suggest. And we'll just move on to the next thing. All right, let's see if the website's working again. Yes, okay, I'm not gonna reload ever again, ever. All right. Um, my video career started in 1972, the old days of very big cameras and two inch videotapes. In today's world, I use a much smaller and higher resolution camera and all digital recording. Once photography and videography are done, it's time to edit and create and use a wide spectrum of software tools to provide high quality output if that's what you're looking for. Cool, I love that. Very simple, quick uh, value prop up front and center for people. So get that there. Uh, small little thing, just a little uh, typo there. Just, I know it's a lot of things are moving quite rapidly. So let's see here, what other things can we do? So we got this, I would say you'd probably want a hero asset for the cover of this image. Maybe if you need to, it's something about like this, this printer. So maybe you're focusing on like, I don't know, whatever the computer lab that you're trying to kind of communicate to, you should just have that as the, the hero image for your videos. Let me just pull that in, pop it into your 16 by nine, and then you'll be set to go. Um, we can just do another page. We'll just open it up, click add page at the bottom. Same as this page, since we're already using the 16 by nine, 1920 by 1080. Let's see if we can find a printer photo. Um, me, I don't, necessarily know your your brand as much but this photo seems to resonate with everybody um, you can have a little bit of fun if you're doing a printer video maybe you're a little bit more serious than I am but I feel like nobody likes working on printers and nobody's had a good experience with any printer um, chat let me know if you have had good experiences with uh, printers and I will revise my statement and I apologize deeply to the printer world enthusiasts. Um, but yeah, I would say maybe we would do something like that. Um, then you start looking at like, okay, <laughs> let's. <laughs> I wonder if there's even a template. There might be a template. Let's see if there's a template. Uh, so if we just go to the templates tab and then type in printer, I wonder. Oh my goodness, they've already got a meme template. When you think you've been working for three hours, but it's only been seven minutes. Okay, well, in this case, we would change out the copy to be something like, when you thought you've ordered one print job and instead it prints out a whole room of paper and then you cry uh, or something like that. I don't know, I'm not a copywriter. The copywriters in chat are furiously typing notes. Ashana says, well, that's a stock image. I thought this was a photo of you, Shauna. <laughs> Wade says PC load letter, question mark, exclamation mark. Absolutely. That's that's not how everybody feels. Lauren says, I've always held my breath when sending things to the printer, especially tabloid size prints. Yes, exactly. Um, we're working on, on, on location right now and doing some photo shoots as well. And Ethan looked at me and said, do you have a printer? I was like, yeah, but it's like, it's the normal printer. It's it's not printing black, it's printing purple and it's splotchy and it doesn't work. And yeah, it's awful. No matter what you try to do, no print. Okay, this is getting into a TED talk about anti-printers. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna change topics. All right, let's go, uh, let's go happier. Uh, let's see if there's any templates for like um, videos. Say her to do to do. Um, you can do simple things like this. We can do this like a start project for it. Um, the templates are a really good starting point for you to kind of launch into your work. So if you're doing website education is kind of like your title. I don't know if this is a meta tag and it's a placeholder for your current website, or if this is where you're really wanting to like kind of reposition Bob Tuttle Associates to video website um, yeah uh, simple ad 
Uh, so this is a, you have an insurance company that wants to sell a Hispanic speaking community. What better way to have it from their native tongue, okay? So you can like, even this, you know, take a frame from this, use it as the, your kind of hero image. Make sure you have that in there so that it's, <laughs> sorry, I got distracted. I saw Wade in chat go, lol, where are the stock photography for printers that work? That's a great question. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Printers that work. Let's see if Adobe Stock has this. If not, we might be giving the game away. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, is he happy? Let's see. Yeah, he's happy. He's happy. Wade, the market is done. This guy, look, not only that, he successfully printed it and he is also thrilled. But look at that. He got all the ink colors to work. There's no splotchiness. There's no change in color. Amazing, truly amazing. Give this man's printer a raise. And not only does he have a, a, a like an inkjet printer, he also gets to work with 3D printers. So that's pretty sick. This guy's a printing fiend. So yeah, good job him. It's amazing. Not Not this girl. She's not happy. White says color matches the outfit too. Dang, you're right. They got that that 3D printer in the foreground and they color matched. Wow. <laughs> God. The the puns, they just keep coming. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to do it. They what what would you call this color value right here? Hmm? In the chat? What would you call it? I would call it. Pants tone. You're welcome. All right, I'm done. All right, somebody get me off the internet. All right, so if you wanted to, you can use these assets. Uh, what I'm gonna do is take a screenshot of kind of what is happening in this top left corner. And then we can start to pull in some of the color. Do do. Shauna says this is the male equivalent of the uh, woman laughing with salad. Uh, Wade says, what? I've never laughed with salad. Yeah, that the salad woman laughing salad AI meme is kind of crazy. They all look like um, William Defoe for some reason, in my opinion, the AI ones at least. Uh, cool, we're gonna go in here. We're gonna change this up. Obviously the yellow is not gonna be a good fit for your brand. I'm gonna just make that white and pull this in. I think. It's a little bit uh, too juvenile of a brand for how you're presenting right now, but we can just go in there quickly. Just go into Express, double click into it. Right now, we're gonna actually go to font recommendations because I want to find a font that that feels better and more aligned with like your technical background and the technologies and things like that. We go new video. I really like this. Like, it's got a little sci-fi edge to it, a little bit of like old arcade, but it still feels like clean and technical and a little bit tech. Uh, yes, Shauna, pants tone, pants tone. Yep, you heard it right. It's a new thing that we're gonna be launching for Adobe. It's called pants tone. And we match your pants to whatever tone of photos you want. Just kidding. That's not actually an Adobe thing. Okay. Oh my goodness, Wade. Yes. Pants tone. Well, that pun wasn't slacking in humor. Hmm. All right, we're gonna have to button up this chat. It's getting too rowdy in here. The mods are rebelling. All right, I'm gonna adjust this watch now button as well. Another font recommendation. Um, I don't like any of these, so we're gonna click that explore uh, more or show more. Keep clicking. I don't understand where these recommendations are coming from. Maybe something like that could work. Feels okay. 
I'm gonna make that button size a little bit bigger. So if you're not familiar with the type tool, <laughs> if you're not familiar with the type tool inside of Express, if you go here, you can create a shape effect. Right now, the default template already has it at 48. Um, I'm gonna actually just lower it so you can see what it looks like. It starts to kind of get closer to the letters. And then what I'm gonna do is double click back into that. And then open back up and then make it bigger. I just wanted it to be a little bit more like big. You can also mask the test text so you only see the background behind it. Um, I'm gonna remove this green. I wanna start bringing in the blues and the reds that you have already. So I'm going to click into this. Let's see. Always love trying to figure out what um, what people are doing with their templates. Um, if we click, Wade just did a zipper emoji uh, in chat, and yeah, that's right, Wade. Zip it, zip those pants puns. Um, I'm gonna grab this red. Let's see. Yeah, cool. So now I've got the red from your logo there. I'm actually going to go in here as well. I'm going to grab this blue. Boom. Click. And there we go. Cool. So we're starting to bring in your brand elements. Grab a filter. And then I'm going to copy paste. And then I'm going to copy paste this. and grab it from the color swatches going in and boom. So what I just did, and I did it really quick and it didn't explain, so let me explain it. Um, I went in here, right now you have filters within your uh, images that they were already on in that template. You have these options where you can go in and change either grayscale, duotone, lighten, matte, contrast, colorize, and multiply. Um, I went in with Duotone. You can plop in two colors and it will change it. This is not an example of it. I'll show you what we can do um, by just importing in an image really quickly. Let's see here. Uh, this is good. Fine. Cool. I'm going to grab this image just to show you really quickly what the Duotone does is it gives you two color stops and it will change that color for the entire image. So it's like a gradient app. You just go in there, you can use the presets, or if you want to, you can click and individually change each color. And I'll go from that one to the other one. It'd be super easy. Cool. So we got that. Um, I think, you know, we have options with this background. We can either do a fill, we can turn it off completely. We do, you know, if that's the case, we might do this as a fill on the, I need the, the video cool let's do shape shadow outline the shadows there okay font color we'll do that red cool new video out now watch i think that's a nice call to action there we can also go in here again and we can change out these shapes and we can border them up if we need to make that border bigger we can make it smaller we, you know, have a lot of fun with that. I think, boom, big in your face, call to action, simple wall to watch now button. We don't need it to have that pill background anymore. We can keep it there just for the sake that it's there and just turn it off. Cool. So we got this. This can be a social asset really quickly for you if you want. Just pull this up here. I think it needs something like that. And whoop. Cool. So we can work with that. What you can also do is duplicate this page. And then you've got that as your Instagram story, if that's you know going to resonate with your audience. But if not, you can flip this, and I'll show you really quickly. So if uh, I think you said that you do work on like Facebook, or that's one of your marketing channels. So if you go there, um, and you want something that's like more 16 by 9, what you can just go quickly do is click the resize button. Make sure you're not clicking anywhere on the artboard. Just go off to the side, 
click resize, and then you can change it to any other sizes that you might need. If you need a one by one, that's great. You can do the 1080 by 1080, or if you know you need a Facebook piece, there you go. There's a Facebook banner for you right there. It's already resized it. It's already centered it. Uh, we just want to like, we would click it and move it. Boom. Cool. Uh, why is that? Sometimes it's hard with all the groups going. All right, cool. That's directly centered now, I think. Should be. Cool. We're centered. Cool. Shahan, what up, man? How you doing? All right. So, boom. Now it takes two seconds. You've got different asset sizes already. And of course, I did not duplicate the original one, but that's okay. We're good. We're having fun. All right. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to start exploring how to make logos really quickly with an Express. A sip of water, a duplicate. All right, great. All right, so if you go into uh, templates, oh, logos, sorry. Oop. Logos is your brand logos. Let me go to design assets, grid, photos, text, templates, discover. You have all these different options. You can see here um, video logo. So I think there's a ton of different things if you want to. You can start pulling this in. Um, you can create add as a page. Cool. Love that. So maybe there's also this here. We'll add this as a page. We'll just start riffing really quickly with all these different options we have. So this is, uh, let's do T. This is B. And then let me click in A. So I can do a little monogram really quickly. And then let me move these around. And then you can mess with it there. Okay, let me get this over. BTA. Maybe this B needs to come up above. I'm gonna ungroup this stuff just to bring it, just to make it a little bit easier for me to play with. Uh, monograms are difficult. So let's see what we can do. Okay, let me bring the T above it. Just zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to get everything snapped. All right, got a BT. Let's see. Just pull that over. Maybe I need to make the. Okay, this is going to be probably really difficult to make inside of Adobe Express. Uh, maybe I bit off too much on this one. Let's see. Cool. Let me get rid of this background for right now. <laughs> Hit that blue thumbs up for Alex. Oh my goodness, there's a blue thumbs up. I'll take those. Thank you. <laughs> they got their own cats. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Ken says, this tool is pretty sweet. You're pretty sweet, Ken. Uh, yeah, Ken, Ken's a great guy. One day, he's going to have the most robust Behance portfolio, and I'm very excited to share that with y'all. But until that day, you're just going to have to imagine all of Ken's really cool work. All right. All right, that's a mess. All right, we're just going to pivot. So what we're doing when you hit a, a you know when you hit a little snafu you just pivot it's fine all right this this logo is already using ibm plex mono which is a really lovely monospace typeface i really like it i use it all the time uh i have struggled to not use it all the time so let's just keep it for right now um 
I love monospace typefaces, especially for like brands or businesses that are tech. So I like that you're already doing that. Let's go to characters. Let me just like caps lock it. Cool. That's such a nice stack already with Bob Tuttle Associates. Uh, monospace typefaces, all the characters are the same width or bounding box for them, so they stack really nicely. Bob Tuttle and Associates being the same characters with the space is a really, really lovely, happy accident uh, with the monospace typeface, and I kind of like it. My typical preference when I do brands and things, though, is to keep it super duper simple um keep it memorable keep it simple let me just kind of keep working with this let me just delete that but i i'm also just a big fan of black and white logos so i would just probably just do this bob tuttle associates and just leave it uh but you're not me so your preference is probably very different so we're going to give you tons of different options to play with so i'm going to go here cool great uh, background I'm gonna make it black but this is this is just how I do it but now we're gonna go back to giving you actual like things that you might be pretty keen on I know that you love videography and photography as well <laughs> actually the eyes were for Alex's comment but all good yeah I don't know what I said anymore either so I saw the eyes I had no idea what happened I'm just gonna play it off like I know everything uh, it's amazing <laughs> wade says i would hate to ban alex during his show oh no oh you meant mm, probably because comic papyrus needs to make its way in the stream and i haven't done that yet um and i think i've really been slacking in the comic papyrus um let's just make this black you want your logos to always work let's see uh, in black and white at a minimum and then you can add colors in. Um, Sean says too late, comic book All right, all right, getting distracted. All right, we're gonna go back to shapes, uh, design assets, I think. So one of the great things is if you like, I don't love how the mono weight or monospace typeface is working with this camera. It's too round and the type is very geometric and sharp. So I wanna find something that's a little bit more sharp. I'm going to do like a uh, video and see if they have a logo for us or anything. Oh, it's funny. I know you were talking about in one of the, the comment, uh, one of the pieces of copy you had, the bigger cameras. I know this is not even remotely as big as cameras have been or are still currently very large, um, but just fun to kind of throw that in there. Camera. We're going to go to shapes after this, I think. Let's see. Shapes, camera. Yeah, so you have different options here. Let's see if we can find a nice grid one here. Cool. So we got, let me just duplicate this. I'm going to go back to this one. Go in here. Boom, pow, delete this and then go back into the page view. And then we're gonna go here, stretch this out, and then just make it black and white. And then boom. Cool. That feels clean, simple. We'll just keep playing with this idea. Uh, the weight around this corner though I want it to be smaller. So if I want it to be smaller, what could you do? The clever says, be kind, rewind. Yeah, the ACR cam, Sean says, yeah, so pro. All right, I'm gonna download this uh, as a PDF. But um, just this page, not the whole thing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this in to Illustrator, and then I'm going to actually reduce the width of this icon. 
So now I'm an illustrator and I know that, you know, you said that you've been teaching Adobe classes and stuff, so that's great. So you already have a illustrator, so you can do this also yourself. Um, and boom, now I've got this. Let me just make it a little bit tighter. One of the best features, I believe, of Express is the fact that you can download this as a vector file that you can start working off of. Um, so that's pretty, pretty amazing to me. All right, I'm just gonna shrink this inside box down, question mark. I'm just gonna shrink all of it then. Why are you not snapping to the correct spots? Uh, cool. And then that goes there and then we'll go here and touch that corner. Cool. All right, great. So we've got that background there. If we want to, we can change out this icon. We can make it bigger. Uh, we can also just Feels maybe a little bit too big now. Just keep it like that. Give it enough white space and padding. I'm just gonna bump this all down. I'm gonna group it and then pull it down just slightly. Cool, that's interesting. Um, and then what we can do is we can take this in. Let me just do that real quick. Um, let's say you love this logo and it's the best logo you've ever seen. And you're just like, wow, Alex, please. Can we make this my official brand? I'll be like, yes, absolutely. Let's just do that. Uh, well, I just shrunk the, oh, it's the background color. Okay, there we go. So I reduced it down. Uh, Shana says, oh, that camera design looks good. I like the geometric center of it. Well, I thank you, Shauna. I made this. <laughs> just kidding. Somebody on, on Express did, but now we've made it our own. And that's what the beauty of working in Express is. So we're going to save this. I'm going to save this as an Illustrator file. Uh, do, 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 do. Adobe Live, Bob Tuttle, Bob's, Bob Tuttle, logo, PDF, cool, save. Um, and then I can save this as Illustrator file as well. So you, you've got it already in the formats that you need. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to actually go in here I'm going to go to home. <laughs> Let's go to brands, click create a brand. And what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna go upload your logo. You can grab it, go straight into Adobe Live, Bob Tuttle, images, oh, one folder too far. I'm gonna grab the PDF logo, uh, huh, just kidding. I got to export it as a PNG. I was testing you guys. You guys all passed. Good job. We're going to export as uh, PNG range one export. Bada bing, bada boom. 300 DPI just in case. And then we'll go back to my all my folders. Bob Tuttle and boom. Pick your color. Uh, I saw that you have the red on the website. We can run with that. Uh, grab my little color picker real quick. Grab your, boom. Uh, cool, let me just copy paste that in. Oh my goodness, why are you giving me everything? What, What is my color picker doing? All right, we're just going to Screenshot it and then bring it into Illustrator very, very fast. That's not it. I guess that is it. Uh, Leon asks, is there a desktop version of Adobe Express available? No, sirree, there is not. It's called your web browser. And that's all you need. Just go, go in there and do it. Just use it. 
Um, let's see here. What fonts does it give me? Add your fonts, IBM, Plex, Mono. All right, we're just gonna use uh, Futura to start. And then we'll go to Bob Tuttle Associates, create my brand. Great. And that that is your logo being uploaded to the cloud where the internet is, where all the cats and the memes and everything is in there. Leon says, the web browser is on my desktop, therefore it's a version. That is true. That is true. If you, that is true. Good job, Leon. <laughs> If y'all don't know who Leon is, Leon was my first victim of Design Fix on Adobe Live. Um, I did his, I took the work he did and then made it more stuff. That was a very good explanation. Leon had a, a side project. Um, why am I forgetting the name already? I forgot the name. It's about motorcycles. It's a lot of fun. Um, that's that's pretty much Leon. A lot of fun and about motorcycles and stuff. All right. Why do I not remember the name? Crash Johnson. Crash Johnson was the name. And we were having like making social assets and kind of expanding upon the design system he already created. Wade says, I know Leon from the old Twitch days. Man, that's true. That's amazing. Leon asks, are there automation tools available in Express like Actions, et cetera? No, no, it's not Photoshop. It's a light version of everything. All right, so we got your brand in. Oh, fun fact. When you, oh, there you go, it's Crash Johnson. I could have looked directly in the brand right here. Leon's little logos he made. Amazing. Uh, yeah. He makes really cool skate graphics. He does a lot of incredible hand lettering. He's probably the most talented individual I know, Leon Ingram, right there in chat. Go look at him, he's amazing. Um, and I might see him tonight. So if you guys in chat want me to pass any messages along to him, like, oh my God, Leon, I love you, please let me know. Um, I'll tell him in person and make him really awkward and blush. Um, yeah, he just knows everything about cameras, lighting, photography, design tools, how to make halftones, how to make texture packs. Insane, insanely talented dude. All right, you can also add in multiple different logos as well. So what we can do really quickly is go in here and I can make some additional marks for us. I'll just quickly do a horizontal version of this logo. Boom, and then I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna shrink down. Whoa. Uh, what's the best way to do this? All right, so what I'm gonna do here is just put it behind. Cool, what? There we go. All right, so we're gonna shrink that down. I want that thickness to be correct though. So I'm just gonna shrink this down. I want it to remain kind of responsive based off of the type here. Maybe that's not a good idea. We'll find out very shortly. Let me see, do, 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 do. square, square, square. Cool, that's there. Let's make sure it's centered. Cool, and then I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna just pull it over to the right really quickly. Just trying to speed through creating a horizontal logo for us. Uh, I'm gonna just group everything. And then I'm gonna just delete this artboard. Oh, yep, I forgot I have to delete the transparency there. Bunch of different ways you can do this. I'm just gonna just knock out that shape and then just confirm by putting it behind. Boom. I 
Shauna says, pass a hug on from me to Leon Laz. I can do that. <laughs> I can absolutely do that. All right. Leon asks, does uh, Adobe Express Auto create alternate size layouts for different socials based on one design or reformat it automatically? Um, if you click and manually select which size you want, it will do its best to do it for you. Just depends on how you built your design assets. If it's easier, if you're automatically already centered your content perfectly, it snaps a lot easier. If you go watch the beginning of the stream where I took um, took the one size from the Instagram story and swatched it over, switched it over to sixteen by nine for her, or not sixteen by nine, but for the foot, the Facebook asset. Um, oh my gosh, I put the wrong artboard. See, typing and talking, very difficult things to do together. Let me just do that really quickly, boom. So yes, if you just center everything, you'll be in a good spot. If you don't center it, sometimes it snaps and gets weird. If you look back at the beginning of the stream, there's a spot where I did it and it was pretty solid. All right, we can go in here. Now that we've got that horizontal logo, we just plop it in horizontal, boom. Now you got these options. We'll go out of this. So you got two options to use there, and then you go back into your projects, and then we go in here, edit project. <laughs> All right, so we'll go in here, we've got this logo, and just add another page. Um, we'll go in here. We can even just, since we already got the logos in there, we'll just apply it. Boom. Perfect. It's going to automatically apply it to the corner. You just grab it and then recenter it, and you're fine. And then we can go to another page, and then you can flip it. And then do logos, and then I'll do a horizontal logo. Um, Leon says, I'm making you explain things while working. This is VV good. V good, good. Yes, you're V good, good, sir. Um, cool. Boom, pow. Logo's done. Bob Tuttle and Associates. I know this is a photo logo. We can obviously spin up different ones with different images. Go in there if you want with shapes. You can change, you know video, camera, or you can even like, you know, let's, let's just make another page. I could throw this in here, you know, play with some sharp angles, Bob Tuttle and Associates that way. Oh yeah, this is, uh, so let's just, we only have like two minutes, so I'm just gonna throw a rectangle on square. I'm gonna hide the this for the sake of just illustrating what you can do in here. Click fill, bada ping, bada boom. Uh, Leon asks, can you upload Lottie files? I haven't done the Lottie files thing. Uh, Wade says you should be able to, but he also hasn't done the Lottie files. Uh, but really good question. Um, Look at you, Mr. Fancy Pants, using Lottie files. Um, we'll just throw this in, boom, pop, boom. Cool, you know, you can play with this kind of all day. Lots of different things that are quickly concept with Express. Um, film, maybe there's a film thing we wanna like really show. Couldn't like see here. All right, we've got one whole minute, so we'll do a, a recap, but I kinda also wanna just see what we can do with this really quick. Uh, film, strip, black. Turn it, flip it, boom, Let's see here, text, add text, Bob, Tuttle, Associates, you can also do the, uh, the grid tool, and that should, why is it not gridding, there we go. What? That's not what I wanted. Grid tool to do. All right. Anyways, 
we're at time. Lots of things to cover. I'll see you guys soon. But anyways, it's a real, really, really fast recap. Uh, we did different sizes of assets. We did some recommendations around how you can use Express and maybe using Loom for your videos. Uh, we checked out your website. We saw that you loved making tons of technical documentation, uh, videos, photography. So we started just trying to play with you know, some logos, uh, different resizing and things like that to kind of help you kind of get more collateral out the door faster. We know how long this stuff can take. That's why Express is here to so help you get work out the door faster, help you resize stuff, make sure that you are getting work out the door for both yourself and for your clients and for your business so you can spend time doing the things that you love. Um, thank you everyone for hanging out. Thank you, Gareth. Thank you, Wade. Thank you, Shauna. Thank you, Leon. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Wade. I think I already said Wade. Thank you, Sean, as well. Um, we'll see you all soon. See you all next week. Bye-bye.